You're going to be surprised. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing a new ESC and this is a budget ESC from Flycolor. Now I'm ch I've changed up the testing. It still has the same results. However, I've added extra components into the testing, which makes it more interesting and which actually gives you some kind of visual feedback of what kind of noise is going on through the system. Yes, I recorded FPV footage and that is the new template until I finish my adapter where we could test four ESCs at once. Meanwhile, Let's do a little change. Let's do a little difference. Let's see how well these perform. So this is pretty crazy. When I saw it, I released a push notification directly off of my application. And I think a newsletter also, when I first saw these come on Banggood, it's four of them. You get four ESCs for 38 bucks. They're 30 amps, two to four S LiPo, and they are just DSHOT 600 ESCs. And they give you this little extra, you know, zip ties and battery and ESC protector. So that, that's nice of them. So you get all four for 38 bucks, which is pretty cool. So I, I didn't know what to expect. Now, Flycolor is a very good company, and we're going to jump into the testing right now. I'm not going to take much of your time. They're pretty small ESCs. They're around the same size as, uh, let's just say, I don't know, a, a Racer Star MS series or the micro, the x roader micro ESCs. So as, as we can tell here, we have a couple, we just got our, we got our MOSFETs. We got some nice filtration going on here, XC3 and XC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 six caps with three that's nine ten caps here so it's around a total of ten caps but if you want to count this one it's eleven caps it's the yellow board design and it's from fly color it's d-shot 600 nothing spectacular all the wires are silicone and yeah so um rated for 30 amp enough talking and uh you're gonna be surprised let's get started All right, guys, so how the hell did this one do? This one basically slapped me in the face. Uh, I'll tell you why in a little bit. Right now, let's just take a look at it. On the right side, we do have that new fly color $10.8 ESC. And on the left, we have the Emacs Formula D shot, I think 1,200, so 45 amp, and has should have better MOSFETs in theory and better filtration. But the graph speaks for themselves. And not only that, I have this other a lot more expensive ESC that I just tested and, I'll, and I'll, we'll get into that right now. So, so far this ESC did absolutely spectacular for $8. And what do I mean by absolutely spectacular for eight bucks? This is without a low ESR capacitor. Can you even imagine what it would look like with a low ESR capacitor? Just one on board of the whole system. It's pretty insane. Yes, of course we saw some noise in there. But it's, it's, you know, I did have pretty long ESC wires going down to the flight controller. But as time goes on, you're going to see the other ESCs. This, this should be a benchmark. This is the new benchmark for $10 ESCs. No joke. One thing, no motor stuttering. This is very important because I just got, the. I think it's going to be on the next episode. You'll see that ESC. It's a lot more expensive and it's a D-Shot 1240 amp, has some nice filtration on board, and it stuttered. And it stuttered like it just like, uh, you, it stuttered. It stuttered on the beginning when it, when it started to push out, which is a very bad sign, like a very, very bad sign. So that's one thing. Another thing, the fly color was absolutely smooth, which is pretty damn insane here. And if we take a look at the voltage drop on, this is the throttle noise level test on that ESC. 
So let's just take an idea of what's going on here. This is the 10% throttle level noise that it's generating. 25%, 50% throttle, 75 and 100% throttle. Now it's a little bit, a little bit, it's a little bit noisier than usual, 100% throttle, but you know, don't expect so much from $8 ESC. And uh, with, with this, this is like the best bargain currently out or has been out in a very long time. Uh, motor smoothness, I just, it looked good. It felt good. It, it, I could hear it. It tested amazing. I ran the test five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times to double check. And it's, it's gorgeous. It's literally beautiful. Like really beautiful. As time goes on with the new format, you'll get to see this these charts and how they translate into the FPV footage. But what I'm trying to tell you here is that this ESC is absolutely phenomenal, especially for the goddamn price you're getting it. It's almost as good as a Tico 32, to be honest, which is pretty insane. Now, Tico 32, I've pounded the living crap out of it. I've been doing all my 6S tests with the Tico 32 and holding out beautiful insanely gorgeous this one's rated for a 4s maximum but for being rated for a 4s maximum it's handling its 4s is pretty damn good i can tell you that right now um i'm very impressed and uh this seems like an absolute winner here on the bench testing so i really need to get done with the adapter where we could test four escs and a complete build here in the setup and do the custom noise now if we take a look down here I compared this to the Emacs formula. The Emacs formula, look, look, do you see how kind of nasty it is? Look how pretty much buffed out all of, you know, these extra portions here. If you take a look here, look at that. You still do get those spikes. So that's something normal. It's, it's, it's nothing uh, too crazy, but, but this is where it gets the, the, these right there. This is what gets you. This is where it really gets you. This is um, right before hitting like 50 to 70%, set 80% throttle. And here it's it's maintaining it very well because you could tell here on 75% throttle on the Emacs formula, which is on the left here, it's you could tell it's noisier than the uh, the fly color here, but not not that not by much. But in the overall long run, the the fly color is actually a lot better than the Emacs formula, believe it or not. Now to sustain high current, that I cannot answer that. I, I have not done these kind of testing just yet. I'm organizing myself to actually burn out ESCs very soon. So, but in the testing here environment, no stuttering, sounded smooth. Uh, I pushed a little extra here and there. And um, it held very well. And I wanted to make sure I could come here and tell you this thing is an absolute beast. And I just cannot believe it. 38 bucks and you get a bunch of, you get four ESCs and that pack. I'm very excited. I don't know if you can hear it from my voice, but I haven't been this excited for ESC in pretty, since the Tico 32 and the Dell RC engine, to be honest. Uh, th this, this is one of those good ones. The Hack RC, uh, the Hack RC that we just tested, be careful. There's a second batch coming out that's different than the one I've tested. So please make sure you just, just take care. I'm going to try to get the second batch also. Keep that in mind. I really hope my followers are following my videos and actually listening through everything so they don't miss key points. Now, I don't want to take more of your time, but at the end result, this ESC is phenomenal for $10. It's actually spectacular for $10. And well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So what I'm going to do is these images, these pictures, you know, the color graphs, the, 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 uh, the ESC charts here, even the FPV footage that I'm recently going to start doing on this format will be in the application ESC review section and will also be on the website's review section. It's still, I'm still organizing the layout. It kind of looks chaotic, but I'm getting there. It's going to be very nice. And, uh, the, all the links down below, they're all affiliated. Uh, you know, th there's no bullshit in that. It's all affiliated. It's all to generate revenue, to keep the site going, to keep the channel going, to keep the products coming in, to also get us great deals. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and try to contact Flycolor because of this and see if they can give us a nice, huge discount as a marketing campaign for them for more people to try them and to get them even cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper we can get them, but if it's possible, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So make sure you download the application. Make sure you sign up to the newsletter letter so you don't miss out and you could also also please check out my patreon you get awesome giveaways it really supports the channel it gives me peace of mind to keep going and not having to worry about other things and at the same time you get free access to the secret shop on the website which has amazing amazing stuff sky's going goggles you know all kinds of crazy stuff and you get it cheaper prices than anyone which is pretty insane so go ahead and check that out 
uh check the website check the tip everything and uh, i'll leave a link to this down below it's a banggood affiliated link obviously and uh if it does help you you know it'd be very nice if you clicked it even if you didn't want to purchase it purchase something else that really supports the channel um you know just hopefully you know usually when i someone informs me of a good decision i would love to click their affiliate links because he just saved me a ton of money and he helped me out and i do that constantly just like karma like i love when someone helps me i just i just want to give back as much as i can you know and um i really hope you guys feel the same way uh this esc is absolutely spectacular so far and um i was very surprised i told you in the beginning i was like ah i wouldn't recommend this to the 2306 remember when i got it if you watched the previous videos obviously oh i don't i don't know but then right now i just got slapped in the face and i was just so happy i was so wrong uh it feels good when you see something good finally finally something cheap and good i just love it uh this is going on a, on a budget build 100 percent uh definitely a budget build a sick budget build so um yeah overall this is a good esc if you want more information about the esc it's linked down below also go ahead and check out the website uh, it's linked down below. Sign up to the newsletter, download the Android application. iOS will be coming soon, so you don't miss out because I sent a lot of notifications, very important notifications, uh, and I am getting special coupon from Banggood. Uh, it's not activated yet. Hopefully next week will be activated. It's going to be a pretty sick coupon. It'll help. Uh, it'll, it'll reduce the price on a bunch of things you probably had in mind you wanted to purchase. It's, it's a very good coupon, better than the ones they already like have on the website. It's a special one for the applications. iOS should be should be out before wednesday uh i've been talking back and forth with them and we're finally on the last review of the app and then it's going to be released so keep checking up uh we also have the tico 32 for an absolute insane sale cheaper than anyone uh coming this monday or tuesday and there's just amazing things on there i'm also making a about me section there where it just tells you about the website more and more but overall this was an absolute beast and i really recommend it so far just bench testing i'll be sticking it on the quad very soon and we're gonna take it out flying so i really hope you guys enjoyed it please consider supporting the channel in any sort of way and uh, it goes a really long way and uh, i'll keep upgrading and updating the new methods and giving more information into these reviews such as you know the separate fpv footage the noise testing will also be on the website's esc review list just give me a couple days to organize the layout out of it to add these newer components such as these graphs such as a nice table uh comparison will need time because that's that's a whole other programming section to compare escs to have them like graphed and compared but um you'll have the fpv video feed noise you, you you know visual um results that you can see you know instead of just like some lines here you can actually see what's going on in the fpv video feed and i use the cheapest uh, VTX with no filtration, and I also use a, a cheap all-in-one flight controller with no filtration whatsoever, so you can get an idea of how raw data, uh, what, what kind of raw noise you're getting, and don't forget we're only using one motor. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if it really helped someone, please consider supporting the channel. It'll go a really long way, and um, love you guys. We just hit 16K, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Take out. Take care. Take out. <laughs> Take care. See you guys. <laughs>